Cool. Uh, is, that, is that big enough? Can everybody read that? Good evening. Uh, my name's Henry. I'm studying a PhD in Mathematics, Cardiff Uni, with Vince. Uh, this is my first lightning talk ever, <laughs> first academic talk ever, but uh, I'm going to talk to you today uh, about a Python library called Dask. Uh, Dask is a parallel computing framework. It's all about building graphs, uh, task graphs, and then executing on them. And you can sort of split it into two levels. On a higher level, you have like data collections that build task graphs in the background, and they have like the functionality of NumPy arrays and pandas data frames. And on the lower level, you have a bunch of task schedulers that execute these graphs. <coughs> and uh, before we actually go on to talk about uh, data collections and maybe schedulers, I think it's important to understand what it means to build a task graph and how that could help parallelize code. So here we have some just normal sequential code where we define a few toy functions and we forced a bit of sleep to make them run a little bit slower. And then we've just got a little bit of code here where we have a for loop and we're going to sum the elements of the list together. And if we run this, it should take about, I think it's five seconds. It might be more. Um, but you can see that there might be some bits here in the for loop that we could parallelize because they're sort of independent of anything else. You see, it took about five seconds to run. And we can attempt to parallelize this by using some. Uh, yeah, the C and the B, hopefully. Um, be able to draw. Sorry, the Yes. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and yes, the way we'll go about trying to parallelize this is using something called dask.delayed. Uh, and you can use that as a decorator when you define a function or by wrapping it around function. And what, de what delayed does is tells uh, Python to execute that function in a lazy way, uh, which will make more sense, I think, as we go on. Uh, so yeah, here's the same definitions, but I've used the decorator here uh, for each of these definitions. And here I've wrapped some, a uh, wrapped delayed around some. And if we run this, it's almost instantaneous. But if we look at what our total now is, we don't actually have a value. We have a delayed object instead. Uh, and what that object is, is a graph. It's a set of instructions of what to do when we actually want to compute something. And uh, yeah, if we, t if we call visualize on that, we can actually see what that is. And this is what Dask has made. It's uh, incremented A at the beginning, and then it's split things up, split our for loop up into three parts, done multiplication, addition, brought everything back together and summed it. And then if we actually want to look at what that, look at what total really is, we just call compute on it. And it's about two seconds to run, which is a significant improvement on the five seconds previously. And just very quickly, I'm going to talk about uh, the familiarity of uh, Dask data frames and Pandas data frames is an example uh, for these data collections. I use data frames a lot in my research. So in Pandas, uh, we like to like, we read in CSVs and we like to manipulate data frames like that. So this is all the uh, flight details of all the flights out of New York City in the 90s. Uh, and we can look at the first five rows of our data frame. We've concatenated them all together, and we might want to do a group by reduction so we can look at the, the average departure delay for each New York airport. And in, in Dask, it's basically the same, and this is what I wanted to highlight, is that it's basically the same as using pandas. Just import Dask data frame. We can read all of our CSVs from a directory in one go uh, very, very quickly. We can look at the head of that data frame, and we can still do group by reductions. But we don't have an actual uh, value, again, like we did before. We have this Dask object instead, which we can visualize. And I know the very small, but <laughs> <laughs> this is what, <laughs> this, so all of this is reading in blocks of CSV files. And then we break all of, our, all of our pandas data, these are all individual pandas data frames, and we break them all up, perform operations on them, and bring it all back together at the end. All on disk. Right? All on disk. And we can compute this, and we get the same. And it's worth noting here that um, it takes about the same amount of time as pandas for this particular example, because the data set is very much within uh, memory. Uh, you, 
if we to, you, you could do this, I would kind of wish I had, but you can do this with you know terabytes of data, and it's far quicker than using pandas, like it's unbelievably faster. Um, yeah, just very, very quickly talk about this schedulers. So yeah, there's four schedulers implemented in Dust that you can use to execute these task graphs, um, and they're all optimized for different things. The threaded scheduler is for yeah, numeric code where you're using NumPy and pandas where the global interpreter lock has been released so you can run on multiple interpreters in the same thing. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not a computer scientist. Um, the multiprocessing is where you are just stuck using Python code and you have to use multiple interpreters with, uh, without using multiple threads. Synchronous is just running everything sequentially, and it's really good. There's lots of uh, profiling and diagnostic equipment that's in Dask, so you can look at like where you're spending lots of time in your programs. And then distributed is something that is very, very useful, but not something that I will probably ever use, which is where you can send massive tasks out into clusters, and uh, you can look as you can look online and see how your work's all doing. You can look at all the scheduling and everything like that. But you can also use it as an alternative to multiprocessing on a single machine and use the same diagnostic tools. And yeah, that's a five minute, six minute intro to that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, building this is just using graphers. Uh, it's just so, sorry, sorry, I know that. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, the mean dot part. Oh, right here. Uh, so the scheduler that's using that as default uh, for anything to do with a data frame or an array or a display, a delayed object, um, is just the threaded pro the threaded scheduler okay. uh, by default. So that's just yeah, that's the way it does that work. So at that point. Any other questions? No? Brilliant.